All right, guys, so today we're going to be installing this Xenon HID conversion kit that I picked up over at Corvette Mods. Uh, pretty cool, guys. You should check them out. And this kit's pretty straightforward. It comes with the HIDs, ballast, resistors, and then here in a little bit, I'll show you guys how to get everything all set up and installed on the car. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and pop the hood. And then first you want to remove these two screws, and they're going to be a T15 Torx. And once you do that, you can go ahead and pop the headlights. And once those are popped, you can go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal. And then they're going to remove this screw here. And there's two screws on this side. And then in order to remove this piece right here, you're going to tilt down. And then bring it forward towards you. It pops right out. And then you're going to have to go ahead and remove this top cover right here. And these are going to be T15 torques again. And so one on each side. And then once you got those screws off, this just lifts right out of the way. So for the next part, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and reach in and just unplug this from here. And once you've got it unplugged, Righty tighty lefty loosey. And done. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and insert your bulb and then same thing, righty tighty lefty loosey. Alright, and then you're gonna go ahead and reach your hand in, and that same plug you just took out of the factory bulb you're going to go ahead and put into the female end and before you go any further from here what you're going to want to do is connect your battery up and test it and just make sure that your uh, low beams are actually working so now that you've got everything in place the last thing to do is find a spot for the ballast and so what I usually do is take some 3M tape, stick it on the back, and use that back wall right there, and just mount it right there, and that usually does the trick. If anything, it does come with screws, so you can actually just pick another spot and mount it into the frame itself. If you do end up using the 3M tape, make sure you put it on the actual bracket. All right, and now that your wires are connected, and you make sure that the ballast is nicely mounted and it's not in the way of the movement of the headlamp itself, you can go ahead and grab your cover and just get that back in place. And then next is going to be this black cover. So you want to tilt it down first, slide it under there, and then you can just tilt it up and just get that lined up right where it needs to be. And then this one again is going to be one screw here, two screws here. All right, and if you follow the step by step, you should have some nice looking new headlights just like that. Beautiful, easy, done. Thanks for stopping by.